dun, 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 dun. Hey guys, and welcome to Escape the Echo Chamber with Niels, Cat, and Ben and Sarah. And uh, on this episode of the Wombat Logs, uh, we're gonna leave Tyro and head north and see where we end up. Okay, so we're just gonna do a quick lap of like the back streets in Tyro before we go. And like, it's pretty epic ground here. And I can still hear black cockatoos over here, like, no matter where you are in Tyro, you can hear black cockatoos. What's up, Neil's cat? You're doing it a bit tough on the concrete, are you? Come on, we'll walk on the grass. Yeah. Alright, let's see what else Tyro's got. Hey, up, Neil's cat. What is it? Hey, there's a funny dog. <laughs> Come on, Neil's cat. <laughs> Settle down. I always thought it was a bit weird that Tyro has a Christmas shop. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how much Christmas stuff they sell all year round, but they're here. Woo, get your Christmas tree now. Some old motorbikes. There's like a matchless, I think it says. I saw an old Triumph. Yeah, really nice. I'll be up at there. The Flash Cafe up here on the corner. <laughs> it's pretty cool, eh? It's a, like a memorial for Durham boy, Davies James, or James Davies. And uh, he escaped from Morton Bay, I'd say it was a penal colony, and was recovered by Andrew Petrie and party after living with the Aborigines of the district for 14 years. Like, that's pretty cool. I know down in um, Victoria, there's a guy named Buckley. And uh, he, he lived with the Aboriginals for a long time, hey? And then uh, he moved back to England and stuff, and they reckon he had like an Aboriginal family and everything. It's a really interesting story. I think William Buckley was his name. And uh, yeah, this guy's name, Durham boy, uh, James Davies. So yeah, that might be worth uh, having a bit more look into. So yeah, as you can see, like we're on the main street of Tyro, which at the moment's a highway, but um, another few years and and this will be like a really nice quiet street they'll be able to have street fairs along here because the highway is going to go along over the back there uh so that's it for tyro we're just filling up our water tank here and then we are off just a stick of ram bread all road closed the river must have uh, kept rising Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you saw the sign or not, but the road's closed down here. So we're going to uh, take a walk down and have a look at the bridge that we were looking at yesterday. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so here we are. This is the bridge we were at yesterday again. And you can see it's gone from 5 metres to 6.8 metres, even though we haven't had a drop of rain. Well, not, not for at least 24 hours anyway. And we were planning to go over there to Mungar and then up through Yangari, where the Yangari line comes from. No anymore. Oh, that's enough of that. Let's go to Maribor. There he is. I just spotted these fairy wrens, eh? They're like uh, little popcorn chicken birds. Oh, there he goes. You'll never find him again. It took me ages to get that in focus. Right guys, welcome to Maribor Showgrounds. Uh, we're gonna go in and look at the home camping, four wheel driving expo thing in here. But is he a bull? Yeah, or a devil. No, he's a bull. <laughs> and some caravans. And there's a Hilux camper here. Right? So we've entered, we're just entering their competition. You had to go and scan that at the better electrical tent, then find this place, and then come over and put all your crap in here. And I'm just like, how many scam phone calls am I gonna get from this stuff? And like you said, it's like the amazing race. Yeah, sorry, you're right. And uh, yeah, and they got all these stop the spread things, but then come crowd over here and touch this screen everyone else touched. I'll win this one. So I worked out there's like about 12 balls across that way and down that way. So that's like 144 balls 
each layer and there's like between 35 yes, yes. and 40 yeah. layers so about uh, 5,040 cool. so we just found this tiny home here eh? it's uh, pretty cool looking and that with a big slide on on the back of it oh yeah how you going? Oh good thanks. Nice yeah, she's a beast. It is, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, it's lunchtime. Get Man, this is sick, check this out. Sometimes you actually find some little special hats and great days for hats for days where it's quiet. This is pretty cool like it actually um it, it actually yeah. is like a pretty good representation of what it's like driving on the Bruce Highway. <laughs> here, here. <laughs> The RACQ sim simulator. Go! Go! Oh no! Ah, no. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and not hurting anybody? Yeah, so, do, do you have an idea how many are in the Mary River? Um, not a definite number, but we do believe there is a couple around yeah. um, that move and transit in and around. And you think they stay local or they go north or? Um, well, we don't have. Yeah, they, nobody really knows. Yeah, they no. just know that they're there sometimes. We know they're there, we know they're transient, we know we go in between. Okay, uh, we have a course even from Tinkham Bay, Rainbow Beach, and then up a little further. Yeah. Well, they're the photos of the ones that were in the Mary River that have been taken out in that. Yeah, yeah, I'll have a flick through yeah, that. They're pretty decent looking frogs, you know, they're three, they're the length of the. Oh, yeah, there's a the trap. There. That's what we've got to look yeah. out for. Yeah, that's the traps. These ones wouldn't go into the traps. Because they're just too elusive and too, they, you know, they're like, not going to be taken. Right. <laughs> too well fed and all those sorts of things. Yeah. Um, but if you see those sorts of marks, that's what we're yeah. looking for. Yeah, that's, that's what we've been looking for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, yeah we'd be interested to see if you're willing to report, and that's, that's actually our number. Do you have a boat? You... No, nah, no, nah, we've just been driving. Yeah, I, I got a boat up, I mean, Tinny up in Bundaberg actually is full of these stickers already. Oh, is it? <laughs> but but uh, no, we're in the motorhome. We've just been, we've just come oh, from like cool. Caloundra and pretty much following the Mary and checking out the tributaries. Yeah, we, and... we were looking at the Mary River um, down at Tyre yesterday. We, we thought we saw some sort of tracks going yeah. up. I don't know what it was. But... Well, you would have seen the sign down there. There's a permanent oh. crocodile sign down there. Oh, no, I didn't see the sign. Yeah, oh, right. the, um... No, the, it's, the river's like six metres over at the moment. Oh, right. So the yeah. sign's oh, probably yeah, underwater. Course, yeah, okay. probably yeah, is, yeah. The sign's pretty much right down the bottom of the boat ramp. Uh... They actually caught about a two metre one on the camera there where they were doing oh, wow. studies of the Mary River Turtle. And that's oh. why there's a permanent sign. So if you see any yeah, of the big cool yellow signs, that's when there's been um, actual, actual evidence that oh, there's wow. definitely one round crocodile there. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. Oh. Big yellow. Oh, wow. Cool as. The Thank you. Yeah. There you go. 100% confirmed. Saltwater crocodiles Ooh. in the Mary. Uh, the lady said if you see them yellow signs saying to watch out for crocodiles, like that means they've seen crocodiles there that, and, yeah, and they are them. actually in that area. So, yeah, and she was saying they try and relocate them to, to crocodile farms. Uh, so, I yeah, don't know. She's like, like, if they relocate them, there's evidence they return to the same area. Yeah, so like, they gotta... but I reckon they should just leave them. Like, if that's where they live and they're native animals, like, leave them. Like, yeah. Maybe don't swim in the river. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's part of their range, isn't it? Like yeah. the turtles and the lungfish and that might need them. It might be like an important part of the yeah. ecosystem. Like if you take out the big predators and stuff, ecosystems collapse. Man, if you ever see these people selling beds at a show, like stay away. They're like scammers, man. Like, dude, you want to buy an overpriced bed on finance? Look how fancy it is. Yeah, <laughs> sign your life away. All right, so the expo was okay. I'm glad we got to talk to the National Parks lady about the crocs or it would have been a bit would disappointing. Have been a and uh, yeah, so here we are now in Maryborough. This is like the home of the author of uh, Mary Poppins and uh, City of Churches, uh, home of the Mary River and, uh, well, the Mary River Cod, <laughs> lungfish, <laughs> crocodile, um, and the Mary River Turtle. So uh, yeah. We're going to go and uh, have a look around Maribor.